All right, what's going on guys? My name is Nikita and this is the Hockey Nation. In today's video, I've got a big trade to discuss here. This went down about 15 minutes ago. This popped up on Twitter. A lot of people are talking about it right now and that's Ryan Dezingo being traded from the Ottawa Senators to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yes, that's right. Matt Duchesne is picked up with Col by Columbus last night and now they pick up Ryan Dezingo. As we've heard yesterday, analysts were speculating that maybe the Columbus is not done and that there's more dealing to be done by them. And here it is, they come out, they make this trade, and it's a huge add because he's another top six forward. He's another piece that can really add some more scoring to them. And really, this just, I think, puts uh, Columbus right there with Washington and Pittsburgh. I can't see how you cannot take Columbus now seriously because uh, this team now has gotten two out of the big three assets from Ottawa. And uh, those, you know, the Zango might not be you no know, Stone, no Duchesne. He's still a very solid player. He's a 25 goal scorer, a 50 point man. And this guy can actually be a legitimate piece that puts Columbus over the top in the playoffs. Now, let's go ahead and discuss the trade and what pieces were involved here. So, the Zango and the seventh round pick go from the Ottawa Centers to the Columbus Blue Jackets. And in exchange, Ottawa gets a 2020 second round pick, a 2021 second round pick, and Anthony Duclair. Now, Anthony Duclair, I think one of the big reasons he was traded is because they were trying to create a roster spot, as well as he has been kind of struggling over the past 15 to 20 games for Columbus. And uh, when he had that good story going on the first 30 games of the year where he had like 15 points or something for Columbus, it's gone by now. Uh, he really just, you know, even uh, Tortorella has mentioned it in his media co conferences or his press conferences that he felt that Anthony Duclair has just not been playing his best game and that he's been making too many mistakes in practice and on the ice and he's been scratched a lot lately and, um, you know, now he's been showing the door and uh, we'll see if, you know, he's going to get another shot with Ottawa and if they're going to resign him because he's going to be a pending UFA and he's not going to demand a lot of money at most he's going to demand 1.1 million dollars for his play this year and Ryan Dezingo he's on a 1.8 million dollar contract and he's going to be a UFA this summer so we'll see uh, what Columbus is trying to do here maybe they have a plan where they keep both Duchesne and Dezingo in the fold and maybe potentially lose, losing Panarin Bobrovsky. But now with those trades coming in from Ottawa, I really don't want them to lose Panarin Bobrovsky because as much as there's been a lot of speculation that, well, oh, Florida and all oh, the New York Rangers are going to be in on this player, that player. I, you know, I really want them to stay with the team because I think Columbus does need that. And if they do stay with the team, if they do stick with the process, and if they do actually end up signing the contract, I'll be so happy for that organization because then it, it, it just, 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 the fans are being shown the sign of, okay, well, we're competing now. We're ready to compete in the future. And uh, this is, uh, this is it. Yeah, this is going to work. And if they win the Stanley Cup this year, oh man. Come on, I don't know how Panarin and Bobrovsky do not sign. I mean, unless it's something so drastic, something that they absolutely have to do. But remember, we've seen big free agents sign with other teams in the past. And you can look back at like a Marion Hosa type of situation where he signed, where he was a Pittsburgh Penguin, lost in the cup final, signed with Detroit because Detroit won over them and then he loses in the cup final. So that could be that kind of thing that can bite them back. But I, you know, it's it's a bad comparison, but in a comparison of the fact that you can go from somewhere from where you're very fittable at and to winning possibly again or, you know, losing, but then winning next year to then just, you know, not really being in a winning situation, not really fitting in with the team that you signed with. So I really hope they stay with Columbus. I hope they work something out. I know it's going to be very hard to keep all those four around, but uh, if they can get rid of that Dubinsky contract, that Boone Jenner contract, some of these big contracts that are holding this team back, I'm, to, I'm looking at a David Savar contract as well. So if they can get rid of those three contracts, I think they can be signed because I believe heading into the summer, they have, I believe, eight to nine, oh, no, they actually have around $15 million in cap space. I know they got a sign of Wierenski, but 
Uh, I think, you know, they have enough salary cap space to at least keep three in the fold if they trade away at least two of the contracts that I mentioned out of the three. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know what you felt about this trade down in the comment section. Who do you think won the trade? For me personally, I think Columbus win this, wins this trade. Not really going away, but I think they do win this trade because I feel like... Dezango is going to be a huge part to this team. He's going to add that depth scoring that they really need. And not that they really need it, but Matt Duchesne and both of those having chemistry, that can really work out very well for them. And um, I think now Columbus has to be counted on as a legitimate threat for Stanley Cup. I cannot see how you now discount them from that conversation. But I want to hear you guys' um, you know, opinions down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, Columbus does win the trade. I do believe so because um, they only get them for two second round picks. And those two second round picks, they might not even turn out to be NHL type of talent. So we'll see how that works out. And for Duclair, you know, he really wasn't uh, playing all that well for Columbus. And they also needed to free up a roster spot for that. And Ottawa gets nothing to benefit them until next year. Yeah, because I mean they they don't get the the same they don't get the same amount uh, they don't get the same talent back. Zuccarello is just traded to the Stars. Yeah, I know. I'll make a video on that after this one. So let me know what you, what you guys felt about it down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and or at least consider subscribing in your mind. And I'll see you guys in the next one.